Hi, I'm gonna show you how to make this fire particle effect in Godot 4.2 and consider subscribing and let's dive in. I have a new project here and we're gonna make this a 3D scene. Hit the plus button and search for GPU at a GPU particles 3D. We have this warning here and to fix that we have to make a draw pass and pass one make this a quad mesh. Open a quad mesh up and I have imported a white circle here this is basically the material for it and the texture and i also have a couple examples here that i'm going to show you later start by dragging in your texture this is just a round circle and it's transparent it's a png so to make it transparent open up the material and go into the transparency on transparency select alpha or alpha scissor on alpha scissor, I like putting it to 0.9. I think it gives a crisp look. Go down to billboard and enable and enable keep scale. That will allow us to scale it later. And now go to emission if you want it to glow, which I do. Uh, you select the color you want. And I'm going to go for something red. Something like that. And I'm going to set the energy to something like 10. Next, I'm going to go to the albedo and lower the darkness a little bit to make it darker something like that now we're pretty much done with the draw pass so we can close this down and go into the process material make a new particle process material open up the particle process material and let's start with making it go upwards and you can do that in the accelerators and on gravity and making it positive maybe something like five that looks good Let's also change the spawn and uh, position and let's make the emission shape a sphere. Maybe too big, so let's make it maybe 0.2. Let's also go into the display and scale and to make it fade away when it gets to the top, make a new scale curve, curve texture. Open the curve texture up and open the curve up and drag the last point down and drag it up a little bit. Something like that. And now we can go up and on the time i like setting things to randomness to one and here we can also increase the time so if we want it to be a little bit longer maybe two seconds i think that's too long so let's keep it at one and maybe increase the amount amount is each of these um, circles you see let's make it let's make it 10 and you can also enable dampening it basically dampens it a little bit and that's pretty much it for the fire now we're gonna head over to the um, smoke but firstly i wanna make it more red maybe something like that that's looking good and now we can duplicate this one and make it unique we go into the draw passes and i just like to uh, click on everything and make it unique to make sure it's doesn't have anything linked so now this one shouldn't be linked to the other one so when i make changes to this one we're gonna make it gray and we can just turn off the emission on this one and then make the color something like that uh, we're gonna make the lifetime 1.5 and we're gonna make the curve we're gonna make the max scale for it 0.5 so it's a little bit smaller than fire and let's move it uh, let's just put it on the fire and let's put the transforms to zero now it's basically inside of it uh, which we want and i think this looks pretty good so i'm gonna show it off with a candle i've made Now I'm going to show you with different materials. First some materials I made. So we're going to go to the fire. This is the fire. I'm going to just rename it. Fire and smoke. Open up the fire and let's close down the process material. And drag in your fire texture. And on the smoke, drag in your smoke texture. Now for this texture, since the textures aren't appropriate size for a game, 
and right now it's like 4K texture. Let me also show you random textures I pulled from the internet. So we're gonna go to the fire and drag in the fire. And on the smoke, let's drag in the smoke. That's a simple fire for you. And if you want a more complicated fire, I recommend watching the stylized fire effect tutorial by Gabriel. Uh, I'll link it in the description. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.